Here we have a 2017 Mercedes AMG GLC 43 for Matic Premium Plus. Now this vehicle comes with over £2,000 worth of optional extras, all listed on the website. Just to mention a few though, we do have the night package. We also have the 20 inch multi-spoke alloy wheels in gloss black, all in excellent condition and unmarked with the red brake calipers. We have the obsidian black exterior paintwork, LED headlights. We also have the Panamerica front grille, with the black Mercedes badge in the center. There's a look at the front end. We have the gloss black front splitter. Round to the passenger side, you find we have the airmatic suspension so the vehicle can raise or lower. We have the side steps along the bottom, color coded door handles and door mirrors, black trim around the windows, and the privacy glass as well for the rear passengers. Up top, you find the glass sunroof that's currently on a tilt. This can also get opened all of the way. We have the rear spoiler just here on the tailgate, which is power operated. We also have the 360 cameras with the front and rear parking sensors. We have the quad tip exhaust with the GLC 63 style rear diffuser. Again, we've got the blacked out badging on the tailgate, the Mercedes AMG and the GLC 43 badging. Back around to the driver's side, you find that this vehicle is free from any major marks, dents or scratches. Taking a look then at the interior now. If you have a look at the back first, you'll find we have the half leather interior with the red stitching and the red seat belts, affordable armrests and the fixed ISO points. We also have the premium Meridian sound system on the doors as you can see just there. Electric windows, we also have the AMG floor mats. Again at the front we have the same half leather interior. There's a look at them front seats, both of which are heated and also electrically adjustable with the memory functions. We have the electric mirrors and electric windows, char lock for the rear. Automatic lights just down here. We also have the multifunctional steering wheel, which is electrically adjustable. Let's take a seat inside. You can see we have the digital screen in the center of the dash. Put our foot on the brake and press the start button. Then the vehicle will start up for us. We have paddle shifters on either side of the steering wheel. We also have the speed limiter and the cruise, cruise control stock just there. Electrically adjustable steering wheel with this stock just there. As you can see, we are free from any warning lights on the dashboard. We can change the view of the digital screen using this side of the steering wheel. Currently have the digital speedo, but we can also have plenty of bits of information on the trip. We also have all these other features which you can scroll through that you would have seen on the photos. We have the AMG mode as well just here, which, which displays different bits of information as well. We have the main infotainment screen in the center. Now, if this screen is flickering, it's just the camera. It's not flickering in real life, it's nothing to worry about. You see we have the sat nav just there. We have the shortcuts down here with the gloss black trim running through the center. Really makes the interior a nice place to be. Press onto the radio, you find the radio stations appear. We also have the media for the Bluetooth audio. We have the CD player, media, register, and also interfaces. We have the Bluetooth phone connectivity for making phone calls. And we do also have the different drive modes as well, so the Eco Drive mode. We have Comfort, Sport, Sport Plus, and also Individual. Also pops up on the dashboard as you flick between each one. Further down, you find we have Climate Control with the R-Squad air conditioning, working just as it should do. We have the cup holders inside of there. We also have the dial for the screen. We have the air suspension. So if we press onto this button, you see the vehicle is now rising. We also have the suspension button just here. So press onto there. You can see we have the AMG ride control set to sport. And it will lower the vehicle. We also have the sport plus and the comfort suspension settings. We have the traction control button just there. We also have the manual mode as this vehicle is obviously automatic, but you can set it to manual changing the gears on the steering wheel put the car into reverse you find the reversing camera and also the rest of the 360 cameras so we can flick through each one just like so if I put it back into park we also have the lever armrest in the center which can be opened up for more storage but that's all I'm going to show you guys today though if you'd like to find out more please check out the website this vehicle comes with fresh service fresh MOT and free nationwide next day delivery Thank you for watching.